Oh, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Note to self: Don't fire off the friggin' science next time. Uh. Okay, okay, let's try again, guys. Anyone see what that rocket cost? I think they're about 15 grand a pop. They're not particularly expensive, to be honest. Until we start getting like um, huge tanks and huge engines, and then the rockets will start getting up to the 50,000, 100,000. Do you know what I mean? We haven't got a launch pad. We're going to get our electric back at this early stage with this engine we've got, so. transmit it for one science as I said we will get that electric back right stow yourself and we're on our way I've got to do this jinky launch all over again. And I still didn't check where they were. God damn. Oh, we're alright. We got lucky. As it happens. Yep, as it happens, they're, um, round about the right place. Wish I could recover this, any signs or rendezvous with the other one. Could recover a bit of signs. Get over a little bit. It's definitely flying a little bit better. I think it was those I think it was the batteries. I'm only having one battery. They might be massless, but must have had a little bit of drag. It really wants to ride upright. Really, really. And they are steerable, those things. They should keep it straight. God damn you. Jinky piece of shit. Flying controls is very, very handy if it's going to be too jinky on you. Which one gets down onto the 90? So I think. Yeah, they're in 90s. They're coming up behind us, is just what we want. Stop here. Spending all my time concentrating on the ball. Literally. Should be coming up on ditching that tank soon. There we go. Should be a bit more controllable now. Tons more Delta V as well. God damn you. That wants to spin. No, where are you going? Jesus Christ. I only looked up to see what the Apple apps was. Eighty-eight. 
now I do. What a friggin' pig's ear I made of that. Flapping about like a privy door in a windstorm. Oh. Stop rolling. Maybe a bit more throttle will do it. Don't want to gain the apple apps too much or I'm just trying to get it back into line. <sighs> yeah, you got a ride an apple. I'm watching this down here and I can't take my eyes off it. Hopefully we were picking up a bit of forward speed while we were doing that. Maybe that is the one we want. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be finessing this one. So I'm never using this bloody probe body to do anything. It's literally may as well not be Actually, may as well not be helping. I don't think he is helping. You, 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 you. Just stay where I put you. Stay somewhere. I'm gonna take my eyes off you for a second. Don't move. Rescuing. Okay, so it looks like it's going to get us within seven kilometers, which I can work with. Oh, so we're just burning towards the target effectively. From with these probe adobo, whatever they are, they actually use electric when we, uh, you know, they use electric all the time, regardless. game curve or a challenge I mean I had friends of mine look at it and go what the hell 
Oops, the fun in that doesn't look any good. You're just doing what the computer tells you to do and blah blah. That's not quite strictly true. Unless you're using MechJeb, of course, in which case you push a button and you go into orbit. Push another button and you land. MechJeb's brilliant, but... Well, where's the fun in that? Because you are just pushing a button. Yeah, you have to work out your rocket design, but you've got a, you've got something that tells you whether it's going to fly or not. Yeah. We've got a disadvantage with this orbit. Have you seen this Apple apps? Very apps, I mean. Seven kilometers. Which means when we do our intercept here, we're going to have to be bang on. We're going to have to be absolutely bang on and do our braking manoeuvre spot on. Seven kilometres it is. As soon as she gets to seven, or well they get to seven kilometres. We burn retrograde to the target until our velocity is zero relative to the target. Then we should be on the exact same orbit as them. Then we can burn towards them a little bit. That's how it should go. A bit too quick. Okay, because of the fact that it's also going to take us a little bit of time to kill that relative velocity, we we'll start now. Until we find the target, it's prograde to target. Has it deselected itself? No, there it is. There's some target markers coming up. That's where we want to be. Wasting too much fuel. Right. Yeah. right now we should be in the same kind of orbit. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the same kind of orbit and we are heading towards them. Per 
second. Yeah, we're going to turn around, get ready for our break in burn. Good electric, not too bad on the fuel. Yeah, so I have had a busy week, busy, busy, busy. My daughter, uh, she regularly gets tonsillitis and I've been kind of screaming at them for ages to take the damn things out. Her channel name is Much Broski and um, she hasn't really got much out yet or nothing out yet because she, she kind of got a little bit of stage fright and I'm just trying to coax her out of it. She said once her voice is a bit better, she would do it. But, um, yeah, she gets tonsillitis regular and sounds a bit like Donald Duck from time to time. But, um, yeah, the other day, well, last week it got really bad and, um, she ended up going in for an emergency kind of last minute tonsillectomy. And, uh, they chopped it all out. That was pretty uneventful, but. She kind of got a little bit of an infection, so I'm now waiting to see what's what with that. She should be fine. Pretty certain she's going to be just fine. I mean, don't think it's anything weird that she's got in the way of infection. I think it's just a bog standard, you know. Because she kind of her throat was swollen up anyway before she actually had the ops, so chances are it's because of that. But you know, it was do you wait for the antibiotics to work or do you just whip them out? So you know, they went for the whipping them out option. So you know, I mean, maybe a few days' time she'll be fine. Maybe. Only thing is, she's like a bit of a garden sprinkler at the moment. When she has a drink of water, it just squirts out of her nose whenever she swallows. So that's kind of interesting. Neat trick if you can do it. Let's kill our velocity. Should be able to grab Nixie from here, to be honest. batteries was the last problem. I wonder if we could intercept that. That would be interesting. If we could intercept it and actually deorbit it, but it's just a collection of parts. It's not really worth it. How the hell did you get up here with this? Seriously? Seriously, dude, let go. Clinging on like your life depended on it. Sorry if this has been a bit of a long one, I'll probably cut out a lot of it, especially the uh, slow approach.
Oh, we did have a light some. Actually, feel like I've done something. Oh, sod me! I bet the bloody entrance is on the other side, and it yeah, it is. Gotta go around the other side. to repeat that ever again. Some would say it was a magnificent masterpiece of orbital rendezvous, but okay, uh, that would do. Let's just do this. Didn't activate the shoots, did it? No. Did it? Oh my god. Oh my god. We are going to have to pop the pressure right up or they're going to pop way too soon. That's the minimum amount of air pressure. 0.5. We should be through most of the burn up by then. Oh my god. Now, if she was an engineer, she could get out, repack the suits, and get back in, but we are so close. I mean, literally within minutes of burning up. This is going to be bad, guys. I've done this wrong with this pressure.
Why can't I click on you? You have some data. Okay. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck, because I'm not that optimistic. We've got nothing to hold our stability. Nothing at all to hold our stability, and our shoots could fail, or rather, they could pop during the burn up. We're already in the atmosphere, anyway. Let's see, can we at least get a semblance of prograde going on out. Yes, if we start off prograde the chances are it might settle that way. I've done complete hands free before but with SAS you know Don't know if you, any of you guys been watching uh, Finbar Hawks, bless him. Yeah, he's really trying at the moment. He's getting it as well. He's slowly, slowly getting it. You have to start understanding that relationship between what you do on one side of the planet affects what you do on the other rather than it happening there and then well if all goes well I'll see you guys on the burn up okay so we didn't hit KSP and we're just getting the I th was hoping it on, was on this coast, which is passing over now, but it looks like I misjudged it. It's this desert we want to be 50,000, or this coast. If we're about 50,000 here, then we should reach KSP. I was a bit too far back on the beginning of the continent. I'll keep on practicing until I nail it. Once we get space planes, we'll be able to land straight on the wrong way. God, I hope I've done the right thing with these parachutes. That's max, I can't do any more than that. Probably going to be quite a long burn up as well. We've got no electric, so we are literally. We're <laughs> literally. How's that chicken under your seat doing, Nixie? Donk. Rush fingers, guys. If them shoots pop too early, she's dead. scale at the top doesn't give me a, a bars or a pressure or anything like that. Oh, it's kind of... kind of locked in, isn't it? It's not moving at all. Couldn't even try it, actually.
guys are stuck on anything, anything you want me to show you, we'll give it a go. Error braking. Overlays up coming into the thicker part of the atmosphere now. This could be the make or break moment. See if we get through this and we just start falling. What I'm going to do is open them manually anyway. I think we've done it. Done the re entry anyway. But at this speed, we could pull the chutes off still. It's entirely a possibility that the chutes will rip off. If we're... Like, see how the rings are? We're doing Mac effects. I've been told, if you pop the chutes, that that will rip them off. 600. Well, at least I know 0.5 is above 10,000 feet. Well, it's looking like it's below 10,000 feet at the moment. Obviously, 1 is 1 atmosphere, 0.5 is half an atmosphere, which means they should kick in when we get to the thick blue, the light blue. On the right, oh, gravelly. This one. We've got no control still. I'm going to be ready to click just up here somewhere and then one of them should open. But I'm interested to see. This is a scientific experiment. What altitude will they open? I'm guessing when it gets to the light blue, or well, well below terminal velocity anyway. If this works, I might set them like that for all my ships. At least I know these are on the 0.5 setting, on the max setting, you are going to make it all the way through re-entry 7000 come on baby you want to start opening now I just popped one just to see what happened let's see where the other one pops 6000 5000 
4,000. What constitutes half an atmosphere? I would have thought it'd be, there you go, 4,000 feet. That's quite respectable, I like that. It's quite good. Review the data. No, ditch that. Did. <coughs> well, relatively safely down, and that, I don't know about you, but for you it was probably boring looking really, but for me it was extremely stressful. I'd rather go to Minmus, seriously. These orbital missions, orbital rendezvous missions, totally stressful. have a crew report from here. Yeah. We can't get water samples so that's it. Well fuck me. I've got clammy, sweaty palms. <coughs> My throat's closed up from tension. Got fifty five signs though. I'm sure that's enough to get us one more thing like solar panels for instance maybe oh they advanced to level but what are they scientist well I suppose you know we could do with the science we'd do with another pilot I've been Mike you've been my audience and I've enjoyed this and thanks for watching guys I hope you learnt something and if there's anything you want to see let me know I'll try and fit it in ok guys I'll see you later